We don't know exactly how much profit Tesla is making in China. But we do know one thing, which is very much in contrast or in opposition to the media's claims about Tesla's success or lack of success in China. We know this. Volkswagen EV sales in China over the first six months of this year are down 20% in a market that has risen 20%. Tesla, on the other hand, well, yeah, it's a very different story. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Volkswagen, like I said, just made a deal with the devil. They'll be using the Chinese Communist Party's EV platforms. Not kind of, yeah, they will actually. SAIC is owned by the Chinese government and they make the platforms that the Volkswagen Group will be using in their new EVs. Plus, of course, the Volkswagen Group bought a percentage of Xpeng. They plan of eventually to have a controlling stake as they do in Chinese battery manufacturer Goshan High Tech. Brilliant move from Volkswagen Group, by the way. They have some great LFP battery technology, uh, basically like an M3P battery, but even slightly better than that. And that was a good move. But the reason that Volkswagen made those moves is because they can't sell EVs in China. And well, 2.1 million EVs were just sold in the last six months in China. And Tesla, BYD, they can. Now, the media would like us to believe that Tesla's position in China is tenuous. It's possibly could be about to be a disaster. That's the way they're kind of constantly presenting this situation. It's a price war to the bottom. It must be a, a bad situation. However, Tesla's revenue in China actually grew 51% year over year to 5.7 billion. That's in spite of the fact that they have lowered prices pretty significantly. In fact, China contributed 23% of Tesla's revenue in the second quarter. That's up from 21% in the first quarter and up from 22.36% in the same period last year. So. Revenue from China has actually grown as a percentage of Tesla's revenue. And keep in mind, battery prices have come down this year pretty significantly. Solar panel manufacturers, for example, have reduced their prices, their wholesale prices by around 40%. One of the key reasons for that is the materials in the solar panels has come down in cost. So the same thing has happened with batteries, right? The lithium price has dropped massively. It's down by about 60% at one point. Therefore, battery prices came down massively. So people keep saying, oh, Tesla's clearly, they've discounted their prices so much, they clearly must be making a loss on their EVs. But is that really true? I don't believe so. In fact, incredibly, the truth is that Tesla are still making a profit on EVs, even with these very depressed prices in a market that is incredibly competitive. We've got more than 80 electric car companies hundreds of models, none of them making any money. They're all willing to just try to outcompete each other, to kill each other and see who's left standing in the room. That's kind of the market we're situated in. Tesla's still doing very well in that market. So this would suggest a completely different story, I believe, to what the media is telling us. In the second quarter, Tesla's revenue from China was 5.7 billion, up 51.33% from the same period last year and up 17.2% from the first quarter. That's according to a 10Q filing with the SEC today. Tesla didn't specify, though, that year-on-year -year search was largely due to a low base for its deliveries in China in the same period last year because of the COVID disruption. Now, that does hold some truth, but at the same time, Tesla had a big rebound in the successive months. As soon as the factory opened up again, they had a huge rebound because of all that demand they got during that period of time, all those orders, they basically delivered on all those orders within those successive months. Tesla's Shanghai factory, according to cnevpost.com, was shut down for about a month at the end of March last year due to the COVID lockdown. This resulted in Tesla delivering 89,000 vehicles in the second quarter of last year. So yes, Tesla's revenue is up 51%, but if you include that, maybe revenue is only up about 30%. However, Revenue up 30% is a lot better than the performance of many other companies. And like I said, I still believe Tesla is making a profit on its EVs. And therefore, it means that as far as we know from 
public filings. There's only two companies making money on EVs in China right now, and that's BYD and Tesla. So that is still something that is worth being proud of. It's still a positive in my book anyway. Tesla's total revenue worldwide in the second quarter was $24.927 billion. So let's just call it $25 billion. That's an increase of 40% year over year, and it's up 6.9% from the first quarter, according to its financial report, which they revealed a while back. Now, that means that the Chinese car market contributed 23% of Tesla's revenue in the second quarter. That's a pretty big number, especially considering that's an increase versus 21% from the first quarter. The US market, on the other hand, contributed 11.33 billion. So that means the US market contributed almost exactly double the revenue of China. US, almost exactly double of China. US growth has been really good as well, though. And those numbers are really borne out in the statistic, which is revenue for the US market for Tesla has grown by 45.5% versus the same period last year. What does that mean for markets outside of China and the US? Well, they contributed 7.9 billion or 31.5% of Tesla's total revenue in the second quarter. That could actually grow this year. First of all, we'll have a new Tesla Model 3. There'll be some changes, I believe, coming to the Model Y, but also, Tesla is selling cars now in new markets. For one of them, Malaysia, they've just begun selling cars in Malaysia. They've got thousands of pre-orders, I believe, from what I've seen in media reports in Malaysia, they got 10,000 pre-orders within the first week of going on sale. Plus, there's a few other countries Tesla have just started selling in as well. So that could grow. Tesla's data released on the 2nd of July said it delivered 466,000 vehicles worldwide in the second quarter. That's an increase of 83% year on year. So clearly you can see revenue, or at least profits are not going at the same pace as Tesla's revenue. However, that's clearly a strategy I think Tesla has taken intentionally. And it's quite a difficult auto market right now that, because here's an example, there's so many cars in China, EVs, there's so many in China. When I say there's so many, it's not just that there's so many models for, for, that are available. It's also the fact that they've overproduced. Uh, there's just too many factories making too many cars. Uh, it's like a gold rush and they're just getting a bit out of control and just making too many vehicles. And in particular, gasoline powered vehicles, there's millions of them in China that are just sitting around gathering dust. We know that from China's inventories. They try to kind of hide that up, hide that a little bit, but we had more than 2000 dealerships go bankrupt in China last year. Just there's too many cars and gasoline powered vehicles are not selling because well, very hard to register them for one in some of the bigger cities in China. You've got to pay more than 10,000, go into a lottery. Very, very hard to register a non-EV in China. It's really it's really something for the rich or if you live outside of the major cities. Uh, so what that means is that there's just a glut of cars that are selling at a low price. And that's something that Tesla, of course, and BYD have to contend with, which is a challenge. And I think they're actually navigating this challenge surprisingly well. This means that Tesla vehicles being made in China are actually doing quite well in terms of their actual sales worldwide. Tesla sold 247,217 China-made vehicles in the second quarter. That's an increase of 22% from 112,000 in the same period last year. Now, of course, that's a not quite a fair comparison because of the fact that there was a lockdown for a month of last year, but it's still a good increase, even if we account for that. This means 53% of Tesla's deliveries worldwide in the first quarter were made at the Shanghai plant. 53% of Tesla's deliveries worldwide. Tesla has four car producing factories, two in the US, one in Germany, one in China. The one in China is making 53% of those deliveries. That's huge. The Tesla Shanghai factory exported 90,000 vehicles in the second quarter. That's an increase of 289%. And Tesla are trying to extend that factory. They want to double the size of the Gigafactory in China. There's a bit of opposition to this. It sounds like the Chinese government and Tesla are at a bit of loggerheads with that. Don't know how that's going to go. That'll be interesting. That would be to produce the Model 2, I believe. Apparently, China, or the Chinese communist government doesn't really want a Tesla Model 2 because it's afraid it has too many EV manufacturers already. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know if that's true. But if you know anything about that, let me know in the comments. Guys, thank you for watching. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know. Bye-bye.